today. We are hunting for the locations of the Netflix series Lupa. Willkommen, bienvenue, welcome. In today's episode, Gabby and I are looking for locations for the Netflix series Lupa. Yeah, my name is Gabby and I have a channel that's called Gabby in Paris about my expat life in France. My name is Carola from the channel Carola in Paris and very often I do location hunts such as movie locations or just historic locations. We're currently in Port Monceau and there's a flashback scene in the third episode where we see teenager Asan and teenage Claire sitting on benches and reading books and of course he's reading Lupin again. Exactly, and then you can see also here on the bridge there are some of his classmates that are coming to them and kind of annoying them and later they get into a fight. And in the next scene we see Claire how she tries to get the blood off Asan's face. We're now standing in front of the Louvre and this is where most of the first episode was filmed. And then on the other side, the car that they're trying to escape with is waiting at that bus stop right over there. And then he goes around the circle and then somehow he crashes into the Louvre and we're showing you exactly where that is. It kind of looks similar. It's just that now they are, I think they have stopped that you cannot really walk inside. So you have some fences, but I think that's the... Yeah, well, I guess the Louvre is closed right now because yeah. of Corona. And so yeah. we can't get too close, but we'll try as close as possible. And this is where we see a flashback from Hassan's father. And we see both of them walking around the fountain and little Hassan walking on the rim of the fountain. We're now standing in the very famous Rue de Rivoli. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we can see him talking to the police in the columns and uh, and then there's a scene where he goes up to a rich old lady and yeah. he's stealing her jewelry and that was in Rue de Rivoli. So Rue de Rivoli is one of the richest places to live in Paris and it's actually just right situated to the Louvre as well. So, so yeah, pretty close by. Yeah, exactly. And so. they probably don't rent, they have bought it like yeah, yeah. Uh, centuries ago. You can go like for generations as exactly. well, you know, it's really... Pretty, pretty fancy. <laughs> yeah. So now we are at Jardin de Luxembourg, uh, just right next to the fountain where a big scene is taking place in the series. And that is the scene in the second episode when Hassan meets Juliette. And Juliette is the daughter of Hassan's father's former employer. Uh, he comes up to her on his bike and he stops the recording and then they discuss. You can see in the series that there are chairs right next to the water, but it's actually not the case. The chairs are further away and we didn't feel comfortable actually putting a chair next to the water. Mm. Yeah, it's probably not allowed. But there are boats though, so exactly. yeah, you can see I a lot of boats. <laughs> I didn't imagine the boats 
really being there, I thought that that's probably like mm. added for cinematic effect, but no, they're really both. We are standing in front of the building that was used as the location for the headquarters of the Observateur, the newspaper that Fabienne used to work at until she was fired for taking it up with the Pellegrinis. And Fabienne is the reporter that Hassan is working with. So this is where Hassan meets Claire and they're having a coffee talking about their son and his childcare. And then he walks off and leaves her some money. And that is when we see uh, Port Saint-Martin. Recognize this bridge from our Amelie video that we already did. So it's a famous movie location. Exactly, and this was also where uh, Hassan and his son walks down, and they speak about him, the son spending a lot of time on his phone, and this is also where he gets the book uh, from Hassan that was initially from his granddad. He seems like that non-existing camera. Yeah. We are currently standing in front of the Musée de Nissim de Camondo, which was used as the home of the family Pellegrini. Unfortunately, it's locked down, so all the museums are closed, so we can't give you any better view. This is the outer market where Hassan's best friend works in the antique store and where he also copied the necklace. But unfortunately it's locked down so everything is closed and we can't get any closer. <laughs> I hope you liked the video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. If you haven't then please subscribe and then hop over to Gabby's channel to subscribe. Down on every Paris street, always something new to meet. Paris stands for all to see with her ancient history.